Hi guys, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up iStep, iStep with Emerald AI uh, and this character, the Dystopia Soldier 02 from Maxim Bukrimov. So let's get started. I've opened here the non-combat AI example from Emerald AI. That's the scene, that's the base scene for the tutorial. And the first thing we are going to do is to import the character correctly. So we select the Dystopian Soldier, we go to Prefabs, take this Prefab and drag it, drop it into this Ellen character. So we have it here now. Then we remove the old character. So now we have the character in the scene and we have to set up the import settings for this character. And for that we click on the avatar that you are seeing right here uh, to jump in the project view to the correct mesh, then we select the mesh and we change the animation type from generic to humanoid and we press apply. So now the character is imported as a humanoid, uh, but that's not everything we need to do. We also have to configure the animations for this character to be imported correctly. And for that we go to Soldier02 animation and select all animations. And we do here basically the same. We change from generic to humanoid and please make sure that you change from uh, you change the avatar definition from create from this model to copy from other avatar and drag and drop the avatar from from here from the uh, from the mesh into here that's important because otherwise some of these animations get broken if they are if they are created from their own avatars so please configure that right, so the animations work with uh, the humanoid version of Dystopia Soldier 02. So let's press apply. And now we have the soldier set up here. Uh, what we also have to do is we have to set the avatar also into this animator, in the main animator of this uh, player here, which is the Emerald AI uh, player or AI, <laughs> call it whatever you want. So let's get this avatar and drag and drop it into the avatar field of the animator here. Uh, so go back to the prefab of the Dystopia Soldier and completely remove its own animator. So let's press play and see what happens. And the reason why it was broken is because uh, we have an Ellen controller which makes use of Ellen animations which are, if we click here and jump to one of these animations, all imported as generic uh, which we have to change. Uh, we have to import all those as uh, humanoid as well but we also have to import the Ellen model as humanoid as well because the avatar of Ellen we are going to use for all these animations because the Ellen avatar belongs to them if we import everything as humanoids. So let's go to the Ellen model first and let's also import this as humanoid and press apply. Then we take all these Ellen animations select all of them, change this to humanoid, we have copy from other avatar, we have to drag and drop the new Ellen avatar here and press apply. So when this finishes, uh, the character should have correct animations, but let's play and see. Yeah, he has, so alright, this works. The character is configured as humanoid now and is inside uh, of Emerald AI or let's say it's using Emerald AI to move around. So next we are going to configure iStep uh, for this character. I have already imported uh, iStep here. So let's take the foot IK script and just drag and drop it on the character. But before we continue configuring iStep now, uh, let's 
change some stuff in the level. Uh, first, let's get rid of this uh, ground objects. And then if we select the ground itself, there's a bug on this ground actually. If we look here, the offset of the center of the box glider center is wrong. Uh, this has to be zero minus zero dot zero five. And why is that? I can show you why this is have been wrong configured. We can create a cube if we want. And in this cube, if we want the collider, the top of the collider to be at the center, we have to set this uh, at half the value of the size and minus. And it should not be minus one because if we do it like that, it's not in the center. And this was a bug in this configuration of the ground uh, collider. And we just fix this by correcting this value. So let's move on and configure the iStep settings next. So for that we go into play mode. We'll pause this for a second. Uh, and we disable the Emerald Eye system to be in idle mode and not run around. Because we're setting up uh, the, the correct uh, Udekai settings. We don't want the player run around. We want the player to stand still. Uh, so we can, can go to play mode again. I also do disable the audio, I mute it, uh, we go into the scene view and here is our character and the first thing we have to do if we want to configure any values here is to set minimum movement threshold to zero. That's important that uh, our changes are always applied directly and it doesn't need some movement to happen uh, first to our foot IK to update. Uh, in a real game scenario, you, you, you want this value to be bigger than zero, typically, not always, but typically. But in this case, uh, we needed at zero to configure everything dynamically uh, to get the best values that we possibly can. So next, uh, we put the body placement weight to zero. We also put the IK placement weight to zero to see if the player is actually grounded or not. So let's see if we disable I step if it's in the same position. Yeah, of course. Uh, and here we could use this Y offset if the player should be not uh, stick to the ground to fix this. But I think in this case we can just, yeah, actually we can move him down a little bit, maybe one centimeter or something like that. It depends on how you want the feet to stick to the ground because you see this floating animation here. It's, it's not so precise anyway. Uh, idle animation, sorry, not floating animation, this idle animation. So anyway, let's move on. Uh, I set this to minus zero, zero, 001, the global character Y offset, but actually it can be zero as well. It wouldn't make so much of a difference. So let's enable IK placement weight and body placement weight again. So by setting this to one and let's create a cube next. And let's move the cube somewhere here. And if you see, uh, the food is inside the cube, which is bad. So let's fix that. Uh, we click the Ellen character. And for fixing this, we have to increase the IK foot height. So let's see what value we need. 20 centimeters, no, that's a bit too much. 18 centimeters looks about right. Let's use 18 centimeters. And what we also have to fix is, I want the food still to react if this is at this height. So let's increase the IK foot height a little bit. Uh, where is it? IK foot height, it's here. IK max correction, actually it's called IK max correction, sorry. The foot height is something else. This is what we just said, IK foot height. <laughs> this is the height of the leg itself. But the max correction is the value that can be used to set up how much correction we want. 0 0.7 looks good. 6 doesn't work, 7 does work. Let's see if this is good enough for us. Yeah. 
I mean, that's enough to correct. We don't want to correct more. So let's use 0 0.7 for IK max correction. And actually, that's almost it. I mean, we got our values, and the two most important values, which is IK foot height and also this global character Y offset. So I'm going to remember these values and I'm going out of play mode and I'm going to set this up 0 0.18 and here minus 0 0.1 uh, and I think we create a cube now place it here ah, I forgot one value sorry for that the IK max correction has to be 0 0.7 uh, let's press play. The character should run around now. So let's try to move the cube in front of where the character is running and see how he reacts to the cube. So this is how it should be. But we are not finished yet because at the moment we are using all these N animations, but we are not using any animation of the dystopian soldier so let's change some animations uh, and in for this tutorial i'm only going to change the idle animation uh, that is being used in the animator controller let's open this Ellen controller and let's check the idle and you see it's the Ellen idle that is configured here and we swap this for an idle animation of the dystopia soldier so let's see where the idle is. So let's just take idle 01 and drag and drop this one here. And let's see what happens. Uh, the animation looks like to have no loop time. So let's fix that. Uh, select animation, go to the animation tab and activate loop time press apply and let's see if this is here still set up yeah that's still fine there's one thing i forgot that we should also get rid of and this is these two colliders here we don't need them on the character so let's find them and remove them so i think here they are <clears throat> so this is the first one and the second one so now everything should be ready so let's press play again uh, the idle seems to work it's in loop now and let's see if he walks over the cube sorry i missed it <laughs> let's see if we manage to make him walk over this cube yes so everything's working uh, that's it for this tutorial i'm not going to configure more animations this belongs to you how you configure this character and how you set up everything else uh, for this tutorial we are finished and I hope it helps you out and yeah, that's it for this video and until next time.